Hey, Jatters, I got my dogs in here because they saw or heard something outside and trying to protect me, I guess. So sorry if we get some barks in here. Today, I want to talk about Constructor Cora, another gift from me to you. I know GPTs can be a little annoying. You've probably used this create feature here and been unimpressed or maybe not even known where to start. So I've created Constructor Cora for the express purpose of helping you build GPTs using at least like my method of prompting just to automate as much as I can for you. Just a much, much better uh, version of this. So let's just quickly, I, I want to walk you through the prompt. This is going to be up on GitHub now, so you can also just look there and find it. You can use the link to use the GPT, which I'll keep updated as I learn and uh, hear feedback from you all. But obviously, you can take the prompt and just make your own and, and do whatever you want with it. You'll see here, per usual, I have things broken up into the different sections. The first is the mission, which is essentially saying your constructor Cora. You're going to help guide through an age, me creating an agent to GPT that's going to help me do the things I want to do. Instructions are just gathering information from you and then outputting those instructions in the format, which I'll show below. Generally supporting and not, not assuming that you know anything about what you're doing. So it's going to help not only build this, but ask you questions and make recommendations. It'll help you think about what knowledge base you want to put in there, if it makes sense to connect to an API, and then if yes, it'll help you walk through how do you actually connect it to that API. And then it's just going to encourage you to test it. <laughs> we got some variables here. I just want to make sure that it knows what a GPT is. JSON, I have that as a variable just so that it can help you develop what that actually is in terms of there's a specific format you need to do in the actions, walk you through that process. And then here's the format. Again, this is typical of what I do with everything. You have a mission, you have the instructions, you have the list of tools, you have some rules. We have an explanation of the tools and what they do, a personality. And then here are the actual rules for, oh, I'm realizing. <laughs> so even I need to think about my prompts. So here's the format, and you'll notice that here I have mission, but it's not in markdown, it's bolded. And that's because we already have markdown throughout, so I don't want to confuse it. And then when we get back down to here after rules, we get back to tools. And then that's explaining the tools that Constructor Cora has to use. Her personality, <laughs> prefers to ask only one. So she was asking like 70 questions to start. It's just, I don't even know where to start with you. And then just some rules include recommendations in each output seat. Even here, I have to update it. Assuming the user does not know what is possible. Again, I, I don't want to, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't matter, but most people, they're going to need some help. Why not have the AI help? And then just some browse the web if you have no idea. This is particularly for the, the API calls and stuff. Probably going to need that. And then just our introduction. And that's it in terms of how it works. So I have this, again, I hate looking at a blank screen. So I have this command that's let's build. So let's, let's actually get into it. We'll go over and actually use it. Here she is. We're going to hit let's build. And we're going to say my usual example, I want a bot that will help me write children's books with illustrators. So see here, it's going to ask me some questions. It's already not doing what I told it to do. It's asking like 50 questions, but at least it has it numbered out. So one, let's say five to seven, two um, genres or topics. Hence what I want, right? Three illustration style, we'll say unit or interaction level with the bot. Do you want the bot to generate content independently or do you prefer work as an assistant? She's asking me about the knowledge base right now. So let's just say like I've written children's books 
before so I can upload. And of course we get a network error. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, in the time of recording this, it's, it's a mess at OpenAI. I could use assistance. Let's just see what it says. Yep, this is pretty good. <laughs> More network errors, of course. This is great. Reminds you that don't upload anything you don't mind sharing with others. Okay. What's next? And here you can see it's creating everything. Generate story ideas, write and tone, assist with story development, create cartoonish illustrations, incorporate feedback. See, it didn't include code interpreter because why would you need that? This is good. And then there you go. And then all you got to do is copy paste this into a new GPT. We can go to just copy paste this, you go down to explore, create a new GPT, configure, and just stick it right in here. But you'll notice that it did not hold over the bold, probably because I copy pasted with control C. So you're going to want to maybe, I'll work on this, but I do want it to output in Markdown, so I'll work on that. But make sure you replace this with whatever you want it to be. Similarly, down here, so you can give some personality <laughs> to your bot. So that's a quickie. You can visit the GitHub to check out more. Uh, I'm hoping this is straightforward and helpful. And as always, please test it out, provide feedback. This is very much the beta version. I want it to work for you. So uh, let me know and I'll keep it updated. Thanks.